Okay, so this is uh, it's a video response to Bob 808 Night, and uh, I'm going to show a couple of things in Nomad 7 and the Nomad 13. But currently, uh, let me just zoom in real quick and show that I've completely um, drained, or as much as uh, as much as it will allow. You can see the red light on the guide 10, and it's just plugged into my iPhone. Uh, let's see here if you can see that 9:38 a.m. I've got really good sunlight out, and what I'm going to do is uh, I do have the Nomad 7, and uh, and, it, and it works pretty good. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anything bad about it. It's just uh, it's a seven watt charger. <clears throat> so what I found was in cloudy situations and things like that, it took a lot longer to uh, to charge. So I picked up the Nomad 13, and uh, so what I was looking for essentially was in perfect conditions, you get 13 watts of power, but in cloudy conditions or if you want to hang this up in a window and leave it, um, you can still get at least the 7 watts, hopefully, or more than uh, of power that you get out of the Nomad 7. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this up, I'll show you the time. And uh, we'll see how long it takes to charge these uh, AA batteries. They are the. Uh, let me just pull this up. Let's we'll see. They are the. And you can see the red light right there. They are the original batteries from Goal Zero, so they're the 2300 milliamp. <clears throat> the convenient thing about this is when I'm finished, if the battery needs some uh, charging on the camera, I'll just plug this in here and I'll charge it as well. So I've got charging capability for for several things. And what I did find was this really does help the 12 volt charge um, a lot over the, the Nomad 7. The 12 volt charge seems to work a much, much better. So, let's see here. Jeez. I just keep all my accessories right here in this pack. I'll pull out the cable I need. So I'm just going to pull this out over here. I typically just set it up. It doesn't really matter which direction. But I'll just hide the guide tin right behind it. And you can see the red light start flashing. I'll see if I can let me see if I can set this up and shade it. Get the camera on the red light there. Hopefully you can see the red light flashing which means it is starting to charge. It'll it'll keep the same strobe. When it goes to green it means that it does have a pretty good charge and then it'll go to a fast green when it's complete. So it has started charging and uh, let me angle this towards the sun. The time, we'll take the watch off here. A little easier maybe. The time, I hope you guys can see, is 9.42 roughly when I started it. Alright, so I thought I'd just do a quick size comparison between the Nomad 7 and the Nomad 13 uh, while we're charging. Uh, just for those of you that are have not purchased either or are interested in seeing the difference in the size. Uh, just look the specs up on weight and things like that. You can see that there's a pretty significant difference in the size, um, but you're almost doubling the output, so um, it should be about twice as big. It, the weight is not a tremendous difference though, and I do like the Nomad 13 set up with the cables and things like that. I would like for them to have them where you can just plug them in and, and unplug them. Um, that way if you damage a cable, you don't have to send it in for repair. You can just unplug the cable, purchase a cable, and plug it back in. Um, that's the only real downside, or the only thing that I, if I had to complain about something, I would complain about. I haven't had any issues, and I haven't seen anyone else have any issues, so I don't think that would be much of a problem. Uh, as long as you take care of your equipment, I think it'll take care of you. So, just a quick size comparison.
All right, so the current time is, uh, looks like 10.33. I meant to start this at 10.32. Had another airplane flying right over head, so I uh, had to wait for it to pass, or wanted to wait for it to pass, anyway. Um, it's not gonna be a, a completely accurate full sun test. I do have full sun again right now, momentarily. It looks like uh, got a little bit of cloud cover. It's gonna come through. Uh, I wasn't anticipating. I didn't see it on radar when I checked it the uh, satellite imaging but apparently we've got a little bit of cloud co cover coming through right now <clears throat> I'll try to show you see if we can hopefully you'll see it on the camera uh, you can still see the red light flashing maybe and uh, so it's been approximately 50 minutes and you just want to try to keep that angle toward the Sun best you can so 1034 still flashing red so it's still taking the charge um, just not complete full sun. Alright, so the current time, 11.29. And it is flashing green. So, let me show you real quick. You can see that green flash. So, when I look at the back of this, it says... Slow red blinking is 0 to 50 percent, and slow green blinking is 50 to 80 percent, and then fast green blinking 80 to 100 percent. That's on the Nomad 7, and I'm sure it's pretty similar to the Nomad 13. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue letting this run until we get a fast green blink. Let's see what kind of time we have there. So, it was less than two hours from full discharge. Uh, I thought that the guide tin would protect it, but according to the back of it, it will allow full discharge. So from full discharge to at minimum 50%, it uh, took less than two hours, uh, maybe an hour and 45 minutes roughly. And so we'll just keep timing this and see how long it takes to get to a fast green blink. All right. So you can see the current time, I think, I hope you guys can see this, oh, it's 1.45, it's probably been late blinking for a few minutes, I walked outside and then ran back in to grab the camera. So with that fast blink, it's between 80 and 100% charge, so total time from 9.42 to 1.45 is approximately 4 hours, and like I said, that could have been fast, fast blinking for the last 10 minutes. Um, I probably haven't checked it for 20 minutes this time, so uh, approximately four hours from completely dead. Now, I haven't done a completely dead test with the Nomad 7, but with probably half charge, it still took four to six hours, and again, that was depending on the condition and depending on the batteries. Um, I haven't uh, had an opportunity to recharge the any loop rechargeables that are... Uh, 2,000 milliamp hours, uh, but they do have 1,800 cycles in them. And then uh, the 2450 by Duracell, I think they're around 800 cycles. And the 2300 Energizers, uh, I'm not sure how many cycles they're, they're they're saying that their batteries can handle. I didn't look that information up. So anyway, uh, that should be a good um, benchmark against the Nomad 7 again it was part it was also partially uh, partially yeah. <laughs> it was also partially cloudy today uh, and it's still there's some clouds in the sky I would say probably 70% uh, full Sun maybe 65% full Sun and the rest clouded uh, but nothing real dark or anything like that it's just uh, the light white clouds um, so anyway that's the Nomad 13 I'll go edit this video and try to get it posted for you guys. Thanks for watching.